Okay, the next part of the middle section. So we ended after this. Okay, now let's do the left hand first. I'll show you the next part. So, um, I, I would start with my fourth finger. Okay, here's the position we're going to be in. Pinky on G, just like we were. You end it on that C, so just use your fourth finger on A, play that alone, and then we're going to play A and C. Then we're going to play a C triad with the C in the middle, C, E, G. So it goes like this. And then come out to G7, so you've got G and F. And bring your bottom of your hand up so you're in C position again, and you go. Okay, I'll play that whole section with the left hand. Now what the right hand does is really cool. Okay, we ended. Okay, we ended with two and four on C and E. Okay, so now we're going to move up so that our hand, right hand is in C position. This is the C above middle C. Okay, so we were here. Now we're going to move here and have our third finger on E flat. Okay. So we're going to play and hold the G. And then F sharp and the same three notes. Okay? And you're holding the F sharp, so going to move up one more. So now our fifth finger is on A. Five fingers over five notes. Then move the thumb down and get the C and the D. That has moved our hand lower. We're going to now have our fifth finger on F. Reach your thumb down to G. Fourth finger on C. So we're in G position here. After we do this, so C and one below, then G and one above, then to B, and I would use my fourth finger on this E. In the music that I have and that you should have this week, it will say five. I don't see any point to that. I would use four F here. Okay, so I'll play that whole section for you. Okay, I'm going to have you try a different fingering for the end of this. Okay, so after we do the part starting on A and the part starting on F, I think I would put two on B. I want you to try putting two on B. And then five. I'll do that again. So I want you to figure out what is easiest for you and what works best. The fingering in the book says one, five, four, three. You could try that, but also try four, two, five, three, and then also try one, four. 
Okay, so this week you're going to decide which of those works best. Okay. We'll put the hands together. We just finished this. After that, you're going to repeat this whole section. differently the second time. Okay, um, you're still going to play C with your third finger in the right hand, but in your left hand you're going to play C and E at the same time and then hold it. And you can stop right there.